Hi, today in this video, we will take a look at how you can use the new portrait lighting intensities and new features in the iOS 13. So first, let's um, swipe up and go into your home screen and we're going to launch the camera. So here's the camera and in the camera, we can uh, move uh, sideways to portrait so slide to portrait and in portrait you can see at the top here you can choose between the different lighting options so you could choose natural light studio light contour light stage light stage light mono this is also new is the high key light mono so we'll take a look at that in a moment and what we're talking about here is the lighting intensities and the effects that it has. So also you can control the depth of view uh, uh, with these new features are on uh, iOS 13. So here I'm going to switch to the front camera and I'm going to take a photos. And here is the phone. And if I tap on this uh, button up here at the top, you can see down here, I can control the lighting intensity. So you can move back and forth to change the lighting intensity. Now also you can change the depth of field by tapping on the F button right there. So if you tap on the F button, that basically uh, changes, uh, make the background more blurry. As you can see, so as I move forward, the background gets sharper and sharper. Now, if I move to the right, uh, the background gets more and more blurry. So I'm just going to take a photo. And then after that, you can also edit in photos. Now you can go into um, the photo app and edit um, the lighting intensity and the depth of view later if you wanted to. So that is the new features that has brought to the, I, the new iOS 13. And you can see here, you can change other features as well. The high key light model. So I'm just gonna switch to the front camera. And there it is. And then we can uh, tap on this F button to change it as well. And you can also change the light lighting intensity by simply tapping on the light icon there. And you can change it. You can tap on this icon to switch. So you can change the depth of field. You can tap on the lighting to change the lighting intensities. And then you can shoot. You can also uh, turn the flash on or off or auto, so we can choose the auto. And we can simply switch it off. And there's the photos. So that is the new features to the iOS 13. Now, if you tap on the photo, you can tap on edit button. So edit. And in edit, you can see, you can also change the lighting intensity. You can also tap on the depth of field and this will allow you to change the depth of field. So that will be probably a better for a different photo. So I will uh, choose a different photos. So for example, this one here, and if we go into edit mode, so you can do it on the fly when you um, you can sit on the camera just during the process of taking your photos. You can change the depth of field and the lighting intensity or you can change it afterward after taking your photos. You can go into the photo uh, ga gallery and then from there you can edit the photo. So in here I can edit the photos. I can change the lighting intensity. As you can see, as I move, the light will change. And also, if you tap on the depth of field, you can also change the background. You can see the background here, the pictures changes as I move. And 
if you pay close attention to the background, you can see the photo getting sharper and sharper. And as I move, it will get more and more blurry. And you can also change other things as well. So I'm just gonna tap on done to save the changes. Now you can also change uh, to different types, studio lighting, contour stage light, um, stage light mono, high key light mono. So even after taking a photos, you can uh, still change uh, the different kind of portrait mode. And you can even uh, uh, change all these uh, colors as well. As you can see right here. You can even crop and do other uh, image editing, image editing as well, and that's it. So that's how you can use the new features uh, on the new iOS uh, from your camera. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.